This is breaking news on Morning Blend Extra Shot. We continue to follow the breaking news this morning with details about the mass shooting in Oroville. The suspected shooter has been identified, 21-year-old Asadi Coleman from Sacramento. Authorities say the shooting unfolded last night on board a Greyhound bus after the suspect got a phone call which appeared to agitate him. They also say the suspect also became agitated because he believed some, one of the passengers on the bus was an undercover law enforcement officer. Here's what else we know. Victims include an 11-year-old girl and a 25-year-old pregnant woman. The person who died was a 43-year-old female. We also know that the suspect was not legally authorized to own a gun. Morning Blend Extra Shot continues. I'm Walt Gray. Thank you for joining us. We've been following developments with that shooting all morning long. ABC 10's Jay Kim is there live. Jay, you attended the 9 a.m. press conference. Uh, a lot of new information came out. And that's right. Good morning, Walt. Well, that press conference wrapped up just a short time ago, and uh, police described last night's shooting as a chaotic scene. And as you just mentioned, here's that new information that we've learned. The suspect who opened fire, killing one person and injuring four others, is 21-year-old Asadi Coleman. Police say he boarded the Greyhound bus in Reading by himself yesterday and started exhibiting paranoid and agitated okay, behavior okay, while having right. conversations with other passengers. They say he then showed some passengers a 9mm gun that he had in his bag, which he brought on board the bus, which they also say was illegally obtained. That bus eventually made a stop at the AMPM store on Oroville Dam Boulevard and Feather River Boulevard, and as passengers were exiting, that's when Coleman started shooting at them. Coleman then ran about half a mile down the road to a nearby Walmart, where he became involved in another verbal altercation with a female who was shopping with her boyfriend, which then escalated to a physical fight before he went to another area of the store, stripping off his clothes before police took him into custody. Here's what we know about the victims. The person who was shot is 43 years old. Police still have yet to notify next of kin, so they aren't releasing an identity at this time. The other victims include a pregnant 25-year-old female who's now in critical condition, a 38-year-old male with a minor injury in good condition and ex expected to be released, and a 32-year-old male who was struck by multiple bullets who's in critical condition, and an 11-year-old that was transported to the hospital and is now in stable condition. Now, this morning, we saw another Greyhound bus pull up to that same AMPM this morning and spoke to some passengers on board who said, they, they were shocked to find out what had happened. That's awful. People don't deserve that kind of stuff. It's a crazy world, you know. So, so you know, uh, either they got some mental issues or, 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 somebody, or some people just, just did something wrong, you know. This is a horrific tragedy uh, that was uh, visited upon our community. Another tragedy that we're having to, to deal with and endure in this community. Um, uh, my certainly my heart goes out to all of the people that were on the bus as well as uh, the victims uh, in this uh, case. Now, the coroner's office is trying to gather all the information necessary to file charges against Coleman. He's expected to make an appearance in Butte County Court tomorrow at 3 p.m. Of course, this is a developing situation and investigation. Stick with ABC 10 throughout the day for the very latest. So, Jay, would the bus was going to Los Angeles. Do we know anything more uh, about uh, the origin of this bus and its destination? Yeah, as you mentioned, Walt, that bus was headed towards Los Angeles. They were just making a routine stop at that AMPM in Oroville. That's a place where Greyhound buses regularly stop, and that's when um, this all unfolded. Mm. So just a tragic situation out there. Indeed. Jay Kim, Oroville. Jay, thank you.